If you enjoy reading, even though you are currently watching a video, you might enjoy this one a lot. Here are the 5 best articles related to artificial intelligence in May posted on Hacker Noon. Hacker Noon sponsors this video, and the 5 articles you will see were curated by myself amongst hundreds of other super interesting ones that you might enjoy even more. So please feel free to take a look at the AI tag on Hacker Noon to see similar articles and keep learning. And please let me know what you think of this format by liking and commenting if you'd like it to become a monthly thing or not. On my end, going through all the articles and finding these 5 gems to share with you was a lot of fun. Reading what everyone writes is so cool and inspiring, I love it. But before getting into this top 5, I think you should know a bit more about Hacker Noon. Hacker Noon is the best place for software developers, blockchain experts and data scientists or ML people like us to read, write and publish. Just like me, you can publish your work there, for free. Getting published on Hacker Noon gives you third-party validation for your writing and puts you alongside engineers from the top tech companies who have also chosen to write on Hacker Noon, giving you great visibility in your niche and they will help you spread your articles on Twitter and other media, which is always nice to see. Let's start this top 5 with maybe the most controversial article. Is artificial intelligence a boon or a curse? By Gaurish Dua. In this article, Gaurish gives insights into this simple question and brings really interesting points that I do not want to spoil in here. As Gaurish advocates, both sides have interesting arguments and you need to create your own opinion. Just be sure to stay open-minded and read about both sides. This is a really interesting read if you like to think about further consequences of AI that are often omitted in the news. The next article is also a very interesting question, which has an obvious answer in my opinion. But diving into the question stays really insightful. Can we predict the future of tech? In this article, Alan Grain dives into the predictions of the future and technology, which, as he states, goes back even to the Mesopotamian era humans have tried to predict the future, and some even claim to have achieved the unique ability to do so. He refers to the most famous futurists and predictions with a bit of a pessimistic view with a grain of optimism. It's an interesting article for anyone who enjoyed Ray Kurzweil's books and futurology in general. The third article is by an author we presented in a past iteration of our top 5 articles of the month. In this one, Paul Labartabajo fooled a 27 million parameter model with a few imperceptible perturbations to the image. He covers what adversarial examples are and dives into the code showing how to implement it with a hands-on example in Python. He concludes by covering how to defend your models against such attacks. This may be a great project for you if you are looking for a computer vision related application to work on. In conversation with a former NASA machine learning engineer. What a cool title. How can you not be already interested in this one? In this article, David Choi interviews Kuba Perlin, a former NASA machine learning engineer with a unique background. This is a cool discussion between the two with great insights on career choices and school, internships and work. Kuba is currently working as a deep learning researcher and engineer at Cohere, with experience from Google, NASA and a master's at Oxford. This is quite a unique and impressive background, and the article reflects that. This is worth the read just to get some motivation and inspiration to work harder if you are in a temporary down right now. Last and not least, similar to our past top 5 video, I end up with an ethics related article. They need more visibility and are a very important and interesting subject. In this article, Ryan Ayers discusses the various ethical concerns that come with advancements in technology and mainly artificial intelligence. As Ryan says, we face questions that we didn't think much about in the past, like whether something is legal or socially acceptable. One example he gives is Asking for someone's race or gender on a job application may be legal, but is it ethical to use that information to screen them? He discusses the biases that come up with these machine learning based algorithms, cybersecurity, safety, accountability, different challenges we may face, ethics, and more. This is a fantastic article and a must read for anyone in the field. If this topic also interests you, you should definitely read this piece and check out this week's iteration of my newsletter, where two amazing people work with me to share opinions and knowledge about the ethical side of the papers I cover here on the channel. In this week's iteration, 
Martina and Lauren discuss a free topic of their choice, and it's captivating as always. The link is in the description if you'd like to learn more and follow it. I hope you enjoyed this special video and don't forget to take a second to leave a like if you'd like to support the channel. Please let me know what you think of this format and if you'd like it to become a monthly thing. Thank you for watching until the end and I will see you next week with another amazing paper.